Hey everyone, um, we were off for a little bit, uh, been busy. We actually been working on the Inecta University uh, classroom trainings. Uh, right now in Pittsburgh, we are performing a classroom training fundamentals of Business Central. And uh, we're very proud of, of that and it's going really well. So if you guys are looking for instructor led classroom trainings, go to our website. Uh, there's gonna be a link down uh, underneath this video where you can see all the classroom training we're offering. We're trying to offer everything under the sun for Business Central and beyond. Uh, so please take a look at it. Uh, if you're interested, sign up. But no more about that. Let's talk about updates, the April update. Uh, it's a tiny feature I wanted to show today. It's about the sales order. Basically, if you're on the sales order uh, and you have limes, right? Well, you look up to the item list. So the annoying part, and I think we all agree with this, the annoying part is that I can only pick one item and, uh, and put that onto the sales order. So if I'm in the item list, I see my availabilities, I see a lot of things, and I might be going like, well, I want this one, this one, this one, this one, and plug it in here. Now we can do that. April update updates that. So you can basically say, I want this and this and this item, item A, B and C, and then gets just put back into the sales order and then you can edit the quantities there. So let's take a look at that. Fantastic addition from Microsoft. Keep those going because those are user improvements. Uh, we need a lot more of those. So let's see how it is. Okay, we keep exploring uh, with the April update. Um, this one is pretty handy. I'm just going to make a short video on it for all of you guys out there wondering what was new. Uh, if I go into the sales order, and just like I talked about on the whiteboard, we just go up to a customer. Um, and here on the sales line, as we're doing the sales entries, actually focus this out, make it kind of cool. Um, I can select multiple now. It's awesome. So if I go here into manage, select items, um, brings up the list. I can then just bring up the entire item list by selecting everything, hit OK. And there it goes. I could have also individually picked out. So this is a great addition. I know it's a super short video just showing that, but I think it's worth its own video. So. Enjoy.